everyone, my name is Maisha and I'm a Sephora Beauty Director and I'm joined by a guest here today, Ricarda. Uh, and today we're gonna be doing powder foundation uh, and our tips and tricks that we're gonna be learning are gonna be about mature skin or drier skin, but I think this kind of covers everybody because these are definitely tips I use having oily textured skin over the years. Um, so I don't think you can tell she has powder foundation on, but she does and that is the key. We are going to make it look like skin, but it's going to be mattified and long lasting. We're gonna learn a little bit more about Ricarda in a second, but she's on camera a lot, so we need to make her look good and we need to mattify that skin. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about powder foundation um, and I feel like sometimes powder foundation can be sort of challenging for anybody, but I feel like as you get older, you kind of just don't like powder because if you kind of pick up the wrong one or put it on incorrectly, it can make you look really dry. I'm super oily and I have texture and still sometimes I get really tripped up with powder um, if I get too excited and put too much on. So we're gonna okay. go over some good prep steps okay on how to get your skin ready and then we're gonna do some color matches so you told me a little bit about what you do so why don't you go ahead and tell our audience what you do for a living um, for a living <laughs> I, <laughs> put me on the spot yeah um, I'm a writer so I love writing and I spend a lot of time um, just sitting and just trying to figure things out but also too I do acting on the side, mm -hmm. so that to me is a little bit challenging because I don't know how to do the makeup. <laughs> I really you don't, don't really know. need it. You don't really need it. You well, have really great skin. Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> so um, she was telling me that she doesn't really wear a lot of makeup. I don't think she needs a ton of it. We just put a little bit of concealer on. She looks pretty perfected. But whenever you're doing auditions and things like that, camera, the lights, and things can make you look really shiny because you have like kind of an oily skin. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, so we're gonna do a powder foundation in a pretty light way because I don't want to okay. cover up the freckles because I feel like people with freckles either want to cover them all up or they don't really do anything. So we're gonna show you some type of ways to just make it look nice, okay. super easy, nice for camera. So the first thing we're gonna do is prep the skin. So I really okay. like. Uh, this serum from Charlotte Tilbury. This is Charlotte's Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. She always has fancy names to her products. <laughs> uh, and what I like about this is it has polyglutamic acid in it. And that sounds really fancy. Um, but polyglutamic acid, if you're probably familiar with hyaluronic acid, I know those of you watching, we talk about hyaluronic acid all the time, but it's something that binds moisture to the skin. 100 oh. times its weight, it binds that moisture to the skin, so your skin stays really moisturized. Okay. And even though you're oily, you want your skin to look plump on camera. And polyglutamic right. acid, in layman terms, it sticks closer to the surface of the skin. So it gives us like plump bubble wrapped effect to the skin, oh, which is really, really nice, nice. Um, which I really, really like. So okay. um, when you do powder foundation, you don't want your face to be wet when you put the powder on because that makes the powder go on darker. So we already prepped you with a little bit of this. Wait, when, I have a question. Yeah. How would I know that it, if I don't put that on first and then the powder, how would I know that it would just So you you'll know because like, if you put powder on and you just feel dry, you can right. see texture. Okay. And then okay. when you put your skincare on, you'll you'll see a difference. Your I skin will just look plumper. Okay. So I really like this because when you're oily like myself, you don't really want a lot of heavy creams and things right. because it just won't last throughout the day. But this yeah. just feels like nothing. Like you can touch your skin and put a little bit on. It just kind of feels like nothing, but your skin feels oh, nice feels and good. soft and plump. So we did that a few minutes ago. So you can put this on. I go walk the dog, brush my teeth, let it soak in. When the skin is plump, but dry to the touch, nothing sticky, nothing's wet, then you're ready to go. So this is from Tatcha. This is the Silk Canvas, and this is one of their primers. Um, and it just kind of like smooths things over. And I, okay. I like that it works for all skin types. Like I can still wear it and it doesn't really feel, you know, too heavy. So you could do either or, you could do both, but these are things that are gonna give you the best sort of you know, canvas, so to speak, before okay. powder foundation. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of this with my scoop. So my question to you is, like I'm looking at you're doing that and it, the color doesn't have to match? So when this is translucent. If you put it on, you kind of see it on my skin. If you put it on uh -huh. and you feel like it's kind of white, like that's way too much. Oh, so okay. So a little tiny bit. So okay. where we tend to see little creases are like around the nose. Things tend to gather just because we're talking a lot. So okay. it tends to kind of gather in those creases. So you can kind of see. So it blends. Mm -hmm. It's okay. just translucent. It okay. has no color. If you feel nice. like it's going on like this, then it's too much. Okay. Too much product. We're just gonna smooth that on. Good to know. Yeah, and it's gonna be like a little buffer. Okay. Kind of like ice, icing the cake. So I put it where the creases are. Yeah, where you feel okay. like you have texture, I'm just putting it on the places where most people tend to have texture, which tends to be the places where our face moves around the mouth, okay. on the forehead. Okay. You're or an actor, so you, you probably emote a lot, so <laughs> yeah. things like that. Now with powder yes. foundation, it's a little tricky because 
You don't want to go with what visually looks right because okay. it's going to be too dark. If you made a cake from like cake from like a box, you put the cake mix in, especially like red velvet, and then you pour in the liquids and oh. it turns bright red. Right. That's kind of what powder foundation does. When you oh. add the emollients or your right. skin, your your oils and things like that, your moisturizer, it just intensifies the color. So you okay. always want to go lighter. Oh. If that makes sense. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So this is number number forty eight. And okay. um, on the names, they'll say golden or neutral or peach or something. Okay. So this is golden almond. Okay. I'm gonna turn you this way. So we can kind of see visually when you look at that color in the pan, when you look at it on the skin, you can see that it's two different colors because it's counteracting with the moisture in your skin. Oh, wow. You kind of see. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah I can see that. Wow. So I like to apply it pretty heavily when I'm matching people. And I don't really do the forehead because most people's foreheads are darker. And this is only 25% of your face, 20% of I'm your face. So... so I'm more concerned about the area on your face that we're trying to cover. And we're just going to apply it lightly there. It'll probably be a little bit too light for the forehead, but I'm fine. so glad you said that because whenever I do wear makeup, uh -huh. I never it doesn't put match it on the my forehead. forehead because it's not it's the normal. same color. Because whatever angle the sun hits you, it usually hits you right here. Okay. It makes you darker. And then when it goes down, it doesn't hit the neck. So wow. if you try to make it too dark for the forehead, you're going to make your neck look funny. Okay, so that first shade looks pretty good. I mean, I like obviously, I have matched her beforehand, so I would have the right color. So uh, we're going to try one that's a little bit more peach. You can see on the bottom, it just has a little bit more of an over, like, it's peachy. Um, this one's a little bit more on the yellowy warm side. Okay. So we're gonna try something that's pretty close. This is a number 58 toffee peach. So when you're shopping, you don't really have to guess if it's like yellow, golden, whatever. Okay. So we're gonna do that swatch right next to this one. And just a reminder, the original swatch is right here. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch this one. And what you can kind of see happening is you see those orange tones coming through. I don't know if you can see that, like. Oh. Wow. So you're more on that yellowy side and yellow kind of tends to run into that olivey kind of family. Right. So you're kind of like me where if it's a little bit too orangey, mm -hmm. it just looks really unnatural. Yeah. So I'm neutral with a little boost of yellow, not okay. perfectly neutral. Yeah, so I can, can see the difference. Yeah. So we can kind of see that's not quite okay. right. And then sometimes what people do when they want a little bit more color, they're like, oh, it's summer, I want a little bit more color, which, like I said, <laughs> powder foundation gets really dark, so you probably don't want to go this dark, even though it doesn't really seem like a big jump for her. Mm -hmm. This is number 66 Mocha Spice. I believe this is a neutral shade. Okay, so we're gonna pop that right there, and you can see it's vastly different from like what it appears, because it's powder foundation. Oh, wow. So some, sometimes people are like, give me that one, that's good, and I'd be, <laughs> In store, I'm like, no, let me match you. Let me like actually match you. So you can kind of see that if you were in store, you probably wouldn't pick this number 48. It would look way too light for you. But just powder foundation, get the undertone right, and then bump it up a few shades lighter, and you, you'll get to where you're going. So this one right here is the one that I pre-matched Ricardo to that I thought was going to be a really good undertone for her. Warm, but not overly yellow um, or overly orange. This is number 48 Golden Almond. This one right here, you can kind of see like an overall like kind of like very, very peach undertone to it where it looks almost like orangey or brickish. And that one is because it's a, a darker tone toffee peach has that overall peach undertone to it. If you feel like every shade kind of looks too neutral on you, you might want to look into a peach shade. And this one visually looks like it could be right. Um, but just to show you that um, powder foundations always go on a lot darker, especially in the, the deeper range. And that one is number 66, Mocha Spice. So this one matches pretty well. So we're gonna go with that one. Okay, so we're gonna actually apply the foundation now and um, I'm using the Sephora Collection Matte Perfection Powder in the number 48 Golden Almond. That's the color we went with because it was a really great undertone and depth. Um, I will be using the Sephora Collection Makeup Match Brush. This is the foundation brush. Works really great for our liquid foundation, but I find it works really well for powder foundation too because it's really dense, I'll let you feel it. So if you wanna apply a lot, if you wanna apply a little, it can really like pick up That's some good. product. Um, so. So we're just gonna go in here. Okay. And even that's kind of a lot. So what I like to do is pick it up and just kind of dust any excess off on the cap and we can get that for later. Okay. But I like to do little buffing motions. 
So what we're looking for is evenness of the skin. We're looking for the texture to not look dry, but more mattified. If there were any redness or anything that we were trying to cover, she doesn't really have much redness, then we would address that. We also wanna be smart. Uh, we want the cheekbones to glow. That's a thing now, highlighter. So we don't wanna to put too much powder there because we want those areas to glow. Ricarda does have a little under eye concealer on. That's, that's all the complexion that I put on her to start. But I'm just kind of buffing it on layer by layer. And I'll just show you really quickly on the back of my hand. When you buff something on, it's gonna be undetectable versus kind of slathering oh, it on. Wow. You can kind of wow. see it a lot more. So the method in which you apply it kind of matters. It's gonna be much more seamless if you kind of buff it on versus taking, it does have a touch up sponge that comes with it that's really nice to kind of get around the eyes and nose and things like that. But I do recommend a brush. It just applies so much nicer. Cool. So on the forehead, we talked about that too. With brown skin, the sun hits you in a way that it makes your forehead a lot darker most of the time, even with sunscreen. So I applied pretty much like half of the amount to the brush. Um, and I'm not even going on the hairline because I want it to look like I put bronzer on her, like she's naturally sculpted. I'm just kind of hitting pretty much the middle because that is the area that will become shiny. We're just gonna do a little bit on the neck just because your neck is a little bit lighter. So nothing extra, but just the leftover mm -hmm. that's on the brush. So this will blend with my forehead yeah. and the whole... Like we just put a little bit on oh, the forehead. Oh wow. Like we didn't put a lot on the forehead and I didn't touch the hairline because mm -hmm. if I were to put bronzer on, which I don't think I need to right. with you because you naturally have like, you know, color, contour, um, it will look, wow. it kind of looks like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It just, yeah. yeah, with a little concealer, which we already put on, it just looks like a, a natural lightweight coverage liquid foundation which i feel like the goal for me at least is for powder foundation to look like liquid just right. a matte liquid it shouldn't look like powder so i will put a little bit of blush on you because i just don't believe in doing foundation or anything without some kind of color and you have a nice like shade of lipstick on too so we want to compliment that so this is from westman atelier this is their baby cheeks cream blush in the shade petal so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on same collection of brushes Sephora collection makeup match but this is the blush brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and just put a little bit on. It's a cream of blush, but it just kind of works for all skin types, blends really nicely. Now, last step is optional, um, and I don't think she really needs it because she's oilier, but for those of you who are dry, or maybe um, you got a little nervous and you put way too much powder on and now you look really dry, uh, you can use some type of setting spray, a mist or something. Um, but we have the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So this will kind of save you from any mishaps where maybe the powder's kind of like balling up in certain areas and looks kind of cakey. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna mist you very lightly. It'll basically attach itself to any really dry particles of the skin or particles of the foundation, and it'll sort of smooth them out and kind of liquefy them, kind of give you like a nice little little mist. You can do something like this. If you have drier skin, the Dewy Skin Mist is great. You can do like an Urban Decay setting spray. There's a bunch of them, a matte one, a normal one, but this will kind of be like your cushion underneath with the serum and your cushion on top. So no one will know you have powder on. You just look really great. Awesome. And then just let it dry and you're ready to go. Yeah. Voila. Yeah. Thank you. So that is it. I hope you learned a lot. Do you love it? I think it looks great on you. I love it. I think it's it, so pretty. You really made me look amazing. I like. I, I want to sleep with it all. I think it looks like nothing. <laughs> we're we're gonna do a double clench. It's not gonna sleep with it. But I think it looks amazing. I think it looks like nothing, which is always my goal with complexion. Even yeah. if it's fuller coverage, it should look like nothing. Yeah. It just looks like really pretty skin. Um, and amazing. you know, powder foundation's not always known for looking like pretty skin. If you can kind of, you know, unless you get comfortable with it. But hopefully these tips and tricks kind of help you. You can do all of them if you want to. You can just do a few of them. I know Ricardo was very, very excited about this serum. Yes. Um, so I think she's gonna be incorporating that into her sort of daily life. And that's gonna be really great. For but sure. Go ahead and leave some comments below if you learned something. Hopefully I blew your mind at least once. Uh, and we will Twice. see you next time. Definitely subscribe. <laughs> There's more videos with a Carter coming, so subscribe so you don't miss those. And we'll see you next time. Awesome. Bye.